तो वेलकम बैक टू बिट फ्यूम्स एंड इन दिस एपिसोड ऑफ लेरवल परमिशन पैकेज ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू सी द कैशिंग सिस्टम इन दिस पैकेज सो वाई इज दैट एंड हाउ इट इज यूजफुल टू एस लेट सी सो हेयर ऑन दिस सिस्टम वी आर हैविंग वी नो दैट सार्थक इज जस्ट अ राइटर सो ही कैन राइट इट सो ही कैन क्रिएट ए न्यू पोस्ट सिंपल but we have given a special permission to sarthak of editing the post so if i go to the database so user 1 who is sarthak having the role of writer which is connected here has model so one is connected to one and writer has the permission to write the post so simple one and one here also but on this model has permission we have given that one id that means the user one sarthak has the permission id 2 which is edit post and that's why we can see this edit part here which is here visible and which is because of this can system we have used but what if i i go to the database directly i change this to instead of edit post i'll just say edit no edit post so in that case this is going to give false because logged in user doesn't have any permission actually this edit post permission doesn't exist so in 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 that case this edit button will not be there so if i refresh it's still there i'm refreshing you can see this is changing that means it's refreshing but it's not removing the problem here or it's not the actually problem it's a useful thing is that this package is going to cache the permission and the roles only the permission and the roles so what's the benefit of this because it is cached every time the the system or your laravel app will going to get any uh, any role or any permission it will give from cache not from your database so it's not going to hit the database every time so in that case its performance it will increase the performance it will increase the response time and obviously because if everything is cached it is very fast so that's why because now i have changed the permission on the database end but we know because it is cached it's not going to touch the database even so that's why it is still having the permission of edit post in the caching so but but maybe this can create a problem because uh, if you want to create a new permission then how it will recognize it so to solve that problem this permission says that every time you do something you assign a role you remove a role you do any kind of changing in these two table that means permission table or role table if you made any kind of change then it will it will just flush out the cache and then start from fresh caching so how we can check these things so yeah you can create a new um, assign a role so what i'm going to do i'm going to say here on uh, which part we are on show part so why not go to resources and index so that means let's so open post controller why not and index i'm going to first say the auth user is going to give a permission so give permission to and give permission to edit i'm going to say edit only because now we have a new uh, we have actually this permission of edit so let's just use uh, publish post so yeah so in that case if i go and refresh here yeah you can see as i refreshed this is gone because now on this model has permission we have a new uh, relation of 1 and 3 that means the sarthak has the permission to publish post and also have the permission to edit not the edit post just edit so this thing are there so as you do any kind of changes to the tables it will just recreate the caches but if you want to make changes literally so what i'm going to do i'm going to again make it uh, edit post and because now it has the edit 
post and edit post is uh, defined on the user one so it should get the edit button here but we know it is cached so there is no edit post permission till now on the cache we can actually clear the cache directly from our the our command line so we just need to run this command so php addson cache forgot spacey permission cache refresh and it is removed very nice so this means if i go here refresh the page yeah edit button is back now so this this is very 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 important part of this level permission package and i thought this is very useful and you you need to know this because what i have experienced of using this package is that whenever you used sometimes you make changes on the database and if you don't know that about the caching you say okay i have done changes but why it's not reflecting here so i think this is going to be useful for you and if you have liked this episode please go and share these with your friends if you have not subscribed yet go and subscribe to the channel why <laughs> what you are waiting for just go and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get instant notification like bitfilms on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then <sighs> goodbye